everybody. It's been an incredible weekend with you all. The first time we've had a full squad all together at Trees. What an, what an amazing weekend it's been. Sorry, Jamie, you ended up in hospital. <laughs> but apart from that, it's been a great weekend. Cheers. Cheers. I love you guys. This is the Oak Volts third kind of big festival this year. Shout out to Kay uh, on um, TikTok who recommended these like awesome plaques to hang previous wristbands from other years. Download Slam Dunk in the can. Let's go, baby. Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, and those of you who identify as both or neither. This weekend, we're at 2000 Trees, one of our favorite places in the world and I've been looking forward to this weekend for a very long time. Not only have we got a full squad of us, like me, Al, Jamie, Izzy, Sam, we've got loads of friends with us. Stacey's come all the way from Russia. We've got a, pretty much a full squad. There's like 15, 16 of us. This year we're camping in VIP because we wanted to try something a little bit different. We love 2000 Trees, but it is a lot smaller than a lot of the festivals we go to. So to keep it fresh and a bit exciting, we thought we'd try something else. VIP is right next to the arena. That tower there is the main stage, and this is our campsite here. And then if you look over there, that's the car park. It's about a two minute walk from the car. So the tickets for VIP were about 80 pound extra. Um, so over the course of this video, we're gonna show you basically, is it worth it? We're gonna see what you get for your money in VIP. Is it worth it? What's good about it? What's not about it? Because obviously like it sounds great being you know, close to the arena, close to the car park and stuff. But if there's going to be loads of noise coming from that main stage, that's not something I'm looking forward to. But we'll see how it goes anyway. But when you come into VIP, you obviously park up, set your tent up, and then you go and get your wristband. We've gone and got ours before, and you get like a really nice gift bag, like full of goodies. We haven't looked in it yet, but I know that there's a t-shirt and a poster and a few other goodies. So we'll do a bit of an unboxing later on. Leaned backwards and then just fucking went. I haven't even had a drink yet. Shameless promotion. I have decided to sneak off and go for a wander because I was bored and I've been here for a few hours now. I'm just wandering into the village. We are in VIP this year, uh, which is a bit of a change. I've actually done VIP a few times, but still camped in general. This time we've decided to camp in VIP just because it's so much closer with the car park. It's, a, it's a, just a lot easier. I say in the category, we go around in a circle. Okay. I press the buzzer once. Done well, the time is just run out, take a drink. <laughs> Well, it's pina colada, but it's it's better than. I know, pina colada. And getting caught in the rain. If you don't get the category in time, you have to take a drink. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Right, need another drink, hang on. Jade, what is the category? Pet names. Pet names. I've got a category. Do people understand what this game is? Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> Go through it one more time because I don't get it. This is a very good projectile to throw at your head back. But I don't understand. <laughs> I press that. Yeah. The time a star. Yeah. There's a category yeah. that I will pre-prompt you. Yeah. We're gonna go around in the circle. Yeah. And everybody gives an answer. Yeah. With that letter. Yeah. If you've already said the letter, you're out. If yeah. the timer runs out on your go, you're out. Yeah. Out, down your drink, do a backflip. <laughs> I would love to see you do a backflip. Don't no, I'll do a back after this game. <laughs> I might break my neck. I'll try. <laughs> no one wants a burger. Yeah. And I told him the price, so he's going to get a fruit tube for gear on. Is that for a caravan? Oh, oh, so there was a Is that for a caravan? Oh, that's racist. Yeah. That's racist. Oh, we haven't got time for racist. I believe this. Like... Oh, kick off in half an hour. No points for guessing who you're supporting tonight. Yeah, in the world, it goes without saying, doesn't it? I didn't realise that Camp Chef Kieran would uh, require a Bev to provide food. Do you want a burger then? Yeah. Yeah, go on. With cheese, please. Uh, uh, Jade, pay the tax. 
It's a drink to, to the chef. Uh, grab a burger. Once again, thank you, Kieran, for I know doing us all food. Well, I've got another pack to cook, so. Oh, there's more. There's more. <laughs> oh, which one's very nice. Did one of the kids give you a fruit shoot for a burger? This is actually going to come in handy later. Never mind that a kid gave it to me, but like. That kid. Everyone says don't bring your kids. This will be good. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. Don't accept drinks from children. There are fucking many drugs in this. Oh, no, 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 no. One of the benefits of being in VIP is that it's not that far of a walk to the toilets and stuff like that. Um, but that's not good enough for us. We need instant access to pissability. That's why Jamie's brought this piss tent. Complete with our own little personalised campsite toilet. We're going to have hand sanitizer and wipes in there. <laughs> Only the best. We are living the high life. Now, are you sure you want to put the toilet right next to your tent? It's my toilet. Think of the smell, it's Jamie. It's emptied after literally a few uses, and it's for number ones only, and it's just that extra little bit of comfort, knowing that at least if you're going to you know, look at we, it may as well be your own. You're going to look at we? Do you go around looking at people's we? This weekend, VIP stands for Very Immediate Piss. <laughs> oh, I have missed this place. And there you go, that is a lot smaller this time around, but there is tonight's Jaeger Nuke. And I'll be drinking it out of this. We're doing the cheese tray game tonight. And when we did it at download, I ended up with this cup, which has got a stag on it, which is the Jaeger Meister logo. But it's from Park Farm House, which is the hotel over the road from download so if you're watching this from that hotel and you're missing a cup sorry somebody who stayed there that night stole one of the cups and traded it with me at download for a slice of cheese sorry it's not participate that doesn't have a horse in the race i already gave you one i ate it but that's proud you win nothing i want to cheese so the aim of the game is, trade. Yeah. you have to trade this slice of cheese for the best thing possible tonight. Right, Victor's not at this festival, so it's my time to shine. Excuse me, I'm really sorry to bother you. We're playing a game and I need to win. So we've got to swap a slice of cheese for, for the best thing by the end of the night. I've got to be able to trade it on through the night, so. Uh... You can trade my arsehole. <laughs> uh, I'll trade your mini hand for a slice oh, of Oh, that's cheese. perfect. Thank you very much. Sorry. Right. <laughs> Thank you. I'll let you know how I get on. Thank you. I've got a hand. I've got a mini hand. Right, so I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm currently on my way to Camp Kev to swap my slice of cheese for a unicorn bath bomb. Hello, I've come to exchange the cheese. <laughs> Amazing, thank you so much. I apologize for disturbing you. Would any of you like to trade for this bit of cheese? Anything. If you come like that, really anything. Absolutely anything. Any item that you no longer need anymore, I will trade for this slice of cheese. Is a, is a frog better than a hand? Yes. You have to take the cheese off as it's part of the contractual agreement. Booby. Oh, I'll take the boo blue bit. Booby, yeah. you booby! Booby? Oh, booby. Boobies for cheese? I've just been done out of a trade there, <laughs> but do you know what? The people we bumped into there are fans of the channel, so I'll let it slide. I give away my hand for a little, little frog, and now I've got this to trade with. What have you got, Shane? I have a little blue ladybug and a blue duck, but because I got two items and he's now got one. I think I'm up. I'm just, I guess I just appreciate the fans more. <laughs> Two one, I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it right now at 7.29 p.m. Two one. To who? England! Normally on the first night of trees, there's still loads to do. There's a couple of bands on in the forest, which uh, Jamie and Jade went down to see before. But tonight, England play Netherlands in the Euros semi-final. Me and Shane aren't really fussed about watching England, as you might be able to tell. But we're going down anyway. I'm gonna drink all that Jägernook to get through the pain of England win. And in celebration of the Netherlands win. Cheering on the Lions today. Pick that ball. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> it's Harry Kane. It's <laughs> While England are drawing 1 1 with the Netherlands, we've gone to the silent disco king to get our headphones. Um, we we pre-booked it. Well, I, I pre-booked it. Shane didn't. So I pre-booked it for six pounds with a twenty-pound deposit, which you'll get back at the end of the festival. Uh, Shane just had to pay eight pounds with the twenty-pound deposit. Again, you get it back after the festival. But it basically just means you know you keep these for the weekend, and whatever silent disco channels are on, you turn them on, you tune them in. Uh, if your headset runs out of battery, you can take them back to the. I'm fucking going home. If you take your headphones back to the silent disco tent that's over there right by the cave stage, um, then if they've run out of battery, you'll just get given a new headset and then these will get put on charge and then get put back into the cycle. So it's a really good system. For the, for the six pound, it's well worth it. As you're about to see, the silent disco is absolutely hilarious. How the fuck? What the fuck? England two! That's a really good opportunity! But it's just outside and it's in the final! I fucking called it in the cup side! 2-1! To who? England. England! The exodus from this game is all heading to Boston Manor! Two things true at this festival! We're going to Boston Manor and it's coming home! A tube station band on the London Underground! England is going to a final! And it's happening at 2000 fucking tree! I cannot wait for us to lose to Spain. Do you think a cold coffee is worth more than a little froggy guy? I don't know, if you find someone that likes frogs, like... Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but there's people, someone there yeah, like people are literally addicted to coffee. Same. I've never met anyone who's addicted to frogs. Thank you very much. I want you to win. Thank you. You're gonna beat the jazz. I am gonna win. He's never gonna beat the staff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this seven year old. <clears throat> You're never gonna beat the staff. That's still up. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. You're never gonna beat that. So I've got, I've got a bet with the um, the there people the people on the desk at the VIP thing. Yeah. I've got a bet with them that I can at the end of the night I've got something that's worth a t-shirt. Oh, oh, yes. oh now you tell us. Oh, both. both. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. That's a squidgy one. So go go steady on the. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great night. Thank you. Look at him. He doesn't he doesn't know what's going on. Cody Frost. Hey, baby. I haven't got my own headphones. What you need to do oh is, is he is... They just shouted you out on the head... Oh my god, I missed the shout out. Do you not have them? What you need to do is pre-book your headphones oh. for £2 less than it is on site. I didn't pre-book my headphones because I'm a sad little fuck. Cody Frost is live in my ear because they're playing live as a set. Sam, you're too slow! There's no slow motion, there's no motion! Immediately we've walked into general camping and as much as VIP has been a blast the atmosphere in general camping is so alive and so vibrant. This is why this the vibe in VIP is really nice, everybody's really peaceful and calm, but I also miss the chaos of general camping. We've literally walked about 50 meters into general camp and I'm loving it infinitely better. Like you might get your money's worth in VIP, definitely. For me personally. I appreciate the vibe better in general. That's just truer words when never was a word. And I know what I'm saying because I can not what what not speaks words anyway.
That's the first time I've ever heard a live show through headphones. A little bit of a weird experience being not like being able to like hear the atmosphere almost. I'm a child with telescope eyes. I can see out of space and time. Hey, 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 Do something better for the first night of the festival, mate. Please. We've just had fucking Cody Frost on. Put something else on. Izzy, take your box. Izzy, take your box. Take your box. Izzy, take your box. Na, 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 na. Izzy, take your box. Take your box. Izzy, take your box. Let me shake. Let me shake. Shake it out, baby. Twist and shout. No, no Beatles. Why? Because no Scousers. You unless, are? Unless, you, unless you're a Scouser, you are. Then, then you're right. Well, am I allowed? This is not a very disabled thing to do. Is this Limp Bizkit? It's a cowboy leader. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it here? Living in the real world. Are you in the real world? And again, and again. Paramore's a headline download in 2025. Oh, I'll definitely swap you with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though it's been in my pocket for a few hours. I'm not gonna is that eat okay? it. I'm probably going to feed us ducks. But you're going to swap it anyway. I am. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Right, so we're on. Uh, copper Bake Summer Punch. What can we get for a can of Copper Bake Summer Punch? Let's find out in the next episode of <laughs> 2000 Cheese. <laughs> Thank you. I've sprained my ankle, yeah. officially. Yeah, there's no broken bones, no hairline fracture, no uh, chips of the bone to overstretch the ligament. You sprained it. Right, I'm gonna trade this kind of Thatcher's cloudy lemon for a shout out on a very famous Instagram page. Um, jam underscore body underscore tattoo. Yeah. And if you want anime tattoos or Pokemon tattoos, I'll do it. I mean, I might need a Pokemon tattoo at some point in my life. I'll do you all the Pokemon tattoos. Thank you. We're always so appreciative of everybody who watches the channel. Um, it's, it's very cold, by the way. It's like half four in the morning. Um, we're always so appreciative of, of anybody who watches this channel. And people who come up to us and say, oh, you know, we, like, we love watching your videos and we're appreciative of the information that you give us. Like somebody came up to us today and said that, that we're here because of your recommendation. That that means an incredible amount to, to us. More than I can really put into words right now. But also, it's very fucking cold. Good night. If it's not apparent, I'm very, very hungover. It's half ten in the morning, we're gonna go and see a band. I've never gone to see a band this early at a festival before, but VIP is very close to the arena, so it's just quite loud already. We're gonna go and see a band called Blank Atlas. I'm gonna regret this because it's very loud.
Blank Atlas definitely are sick. I have two feet firmly planted on the struggle bus. If you've seen any of our 2000 Trees videos before, you'll know that we love Susie's. It's it's the absolute essential for the morning at 2000 Trees. Every, they should be at every festival to be honest, but the fact that it's a Trees exclusive just makes this festival even better. Absolutely perfect breakfast food. What is Nine out of 10. Last night's competition, a trade up from a slice of cheese. A lot of things were traded, but the winner of the competition was, who's that? Noah. <laughs> Woo! Show him what you got, Baba. Went straight from a slice of cheese to that staff. That's incredible. <laughs> we are currently getting some food. Stacey behind me is getting herself a baked potato, which I didn't realise they had vegan options, so I'll be coming back here later. You can get cheese and beans, and also beans and cheese. What's the difference? Thanks Shane. Jamie's had a little bit of an accident, ended up in hospital last night, hurt his ankle, he's on crutches. His plan is basically just to drink through the pain and get fucked up. It's a good plan, to be honest. Just rip it! Rip it! Rip it! Ah! Ah! Oh! Bang! Oh, I would, I would, have, you would be murdered on screen. Oh! This is why I don't use chopsticks. Whee! So as mentioned yesterday, the VIP at Trees comes with like this lovely little goodie bag in a, in a very nice tote bag. The poster, which I've bent, so I'm gonna have to flat that out. A t-shirt, uh, I think that's the same design as that. One of those drink cozy holder things. A program, official program. Pin badges, lots of pin badges. Or a lanyard with, it's got all the times and stuff on it. And a voucher for a free glass of bubbly. The main stage is there, the food there. The shower's there, the toilet's just down there, and literally that's the shortest walk from a car I've ever done at a festival. Genuinely impressed for the extra 80 quid. Would definitely recommend it. The only thing it's lacking is like the the, the general campsite vibe. Three, two, one, go! Oh, it's all shit, Me and a few others are off to the Marshall Amps tent. Um, which is down close to the new stage and the main stage. We are going to do some screen printing on some t-shirts with Boston Manor. What's that? It is a fully customised and freshly screen printed and signed Marshall X 2000 Trees t-shirt. <laughs> Can we stop putting cigarette butts in drinks that are still full? I'm, I'm, I'm having I a bad so day! Fun. Some of the others have gone to see static dress on the main stage and I do like static dress. But I've seen them a few times already this year. Something I've not seen this year is a little thing called Two Promoters, One Pod. It's a podcast hosted by the organiser of this festival, uh, James Scarlett, and the organiser of Damnation Festival, which we're hoping to get to later in the year. We're doing a live show in one of the smaller stages, in the word stage. It is genuinely really interesting and really insightful to get like a behind the scenes look at what, what it takes to make all this happen. Are you ready to hear two men talk for an inordinately long time about towels? Yeah! If we wanted to double the size of 2000 Trees, there is, uh, we don't, but there is only one way to do it, and that would be to book bigger bands. And it's a massive risk, because if the same number of people come and you've gone big, it's, uh, you know, it's game over, so... Uh, it's, it's called Damnation 2023. <laughs> four of us, like a security guard, the bus driver, the tour manager and me, running alongside the trailer. But there's nothing you can do to stop it. So you're just like, three quarter, it's like a three quarter sprint alongside the trailer. And I, and I kind of looked up and it's just a field full of fucking tents. The bus driver was blaming the, the, hand, the, the brake on the trailer and everyone else was like, the bus driver didn't put the brake on the trailer. <laughs> I've just been to the Pad Thai place. Forks are for heathens. Chopsticks are a more elegant option for a civilized age. You can put crushed peanuts on there so you can like add some more crunch. 
they're going down really well. I'm taking pines off with chopsticks because while they had instructions on how to use them, which I think was a nice touch, there's not much tape around them, so they're just sticks. His daughter is seeing him play for the first time ever today. So clap for him. We're on a mission this year to find the best festival food at 2000 Trees because it's all like local companies, local businesses. I'm going to start with my absolute favorite place to eat at any festival. I'm going to Barnaby Sykes. Great service, no queue. 12 quid, not too bad. I'm spilling mash, not too bad at all. 10 out of 10, perfect. Bosh. <laughs> Today has been one long ride on the struggle bus, so we've not really done much. Seen a couple of bands and went to the podcast before and stuff, but I just needed to have another lie down. As a little bit of a fun thing, we've all bought each other shit shirts, and no matter how embarrassing it is, no matter what it's got on it, we've all got to wear them for the rest of the night. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my That's god. A... I, I appreciate that. Thank you. We have this. <laughs> The gym bros of Hemel don't know what's coming for them. <laughs> Georgie! I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new work shirt, so that when people ask me what's wrong, I can just point at the shirt. I got Sam. I've gone with this. <laughs> <laughs> I actually love pink, yes. So I got the Upper Shane. Because he loves Hannah Montana. <laughs> That, that, is, that, is, that is, is the best t-shirt ever made! Hell yeah! Mine oh. comes as a bit of a two-parter oh, and it's something go. that happens in Leeds and a slam dunk. So. <laughs> <laughs> Cut! <laughs> Excellent! Hey gorgeous! I know we saw his tits for like three hours straight, it was great! I've got Kieran. Now Kieran's gone to lie down because he's not feeling well. That's for you. <laughs> <laughs> for our favourite Russian diplomat, um, we were under the strictest rules. Daddy's <laughs> oh. And thus ends the shoot you know short swap. Oh, like but shot. wait! <laughs> There's more. No. Ah. Oh, for fuck's this sake. This the worst one. What have you done? <laughs> What have you what done? Have you done? Well, tonight's going to be fun. We found a Kieran. What the fuck you got me? <laughs> 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 there is something worse you could have got me, and that's a Man United shirt, so it's, it's not the end of the world. What would have been worse, a Taylor Swift shirt or a Man United shirt? years old? How many? Seven? You think you could probably take me in a fight? I think you could. You could take me. I'm not that strong. You look tough. Why are we looking at Taylor Swift at 2003, doesn't he? 
off. If anybody ever asked me what was the worst band they ever saw live was, I would always say the Gaslight Anthem at Download in 2013. Maybe I just don't get it, but tonight I was going to give them a second chance. They're not as bad, really, as I thought they were. The VIP bar area is such a nice little vibe. There's lots of comfy chairs and benches and stuff and tables, a bar obviously. Just an, a really nice atmosphere. I'd say that bit alone is worth the extra 80 quid. If I scream, the kids will wake up. Like kids, sounds like the kids are already awake. Jamie, scream as much as you want, mate. Ow, that hurt. Look, I'm trying to be better. Yeah. That's why I'm now drinking Pinot Grigio. I am also in my wine era. <laughs> however, however, I do feel that narratively, Izzy is further along in her journey. Oh yeah, like Julie because she's on the red wine, <laughs> and Julie which is more mature, mature and sophisticated. <laughs> oh, I'm a slut for Lambrini, I think. Like I tripped over oh. this thing. No, 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 she didn't just fall over. She like <laughs> she hit, hit the floor and then went. Ah, I can't get right away from home there, the bit of that. It's my wife's son. What is Georgie's favourite colour? It's not purple, but I think I'm going to go purple. Sam. I mean, she's literally fucking wearing it. And as we've decided to watch the top. I did the Dennis Reynolds there, didn't I? No. Lie back down. <laughs> Sam. And we dance Sam. all night to the best song ever. Sam. And then we go, uh, Sam. Uh, uh. Thank you. Sam. What? He you're playing a game where you have to listen to shit. Sorry, I was, I was, take sorry. Your phones off. what was that? I didn't hear, I wasn't listening. Sam, Sam, right, Sam, like, Sam, uh, Sam act oh, yeah. like a yeah. slug for five seconds or take three drinks. Name a famous dictator. The Cuban one. Hang on, why are we skipping past the Cuban one? Why do you have to skip Oh, sorry. <laughs> Andy, 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 we'll let you off with it if you can name the Cuban one in five seconds. Four. Oh, oh, just just Sam, impersonate another player. The first person who can guess who that player is gives out four drinks. Look, so everybody, I absolutely love this festival. No, I don't know why I've gone Welsh. Why have I gone Welsh? Shame. I mean, it was supposed to be Scouse, but it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Gibby, do you have a purple bin? Can we find me? No, I've got three bins. Is it is three one of them? Oh, you put on no. the accent now. No, I'm, from I'm, not from, I'm not from the city of Liverpool yeah. region, I'm from Sefton. I live at Bacardi and Corpus. I'm not a fucking wall. Yeah. Me and Izzy are staying with the Shouty Boys. <laughs> what Shouty Boys is it currently? Uh, what? Machine Head. <gasps> really? Yeah. Dab it in. Yeah. Oh. It I told you you mean, sorry, Davidian. Davidian, yeah. Not David Ian. No, not David, David Ian. Ian. You said David Ian. No, I didn't. I really love that part in that song, Shane, where he says six leads to GTR. Six leads to GTR. Followed by, a, followed by the next lyric. Six leads to GTR. <laughs> but do you know what? The next lyric is so profound when he says six leads to GTR. Mike. I'm on but do you know what really gets so me? Leave me alone! I'm on smoke Don't put yellow on. No, don't put yellow on. Oh, it's just bad. One of the most heartbreaking things is when a band that you love gets cancelled. Let the bodies hit the floor! Let the bodies hit the floor! Let the bodies hit the floor! <laughs> Super trooper, lights are gonna find me. Dine, I don't need blue. Hey, hey! Rockstar. Nobody hates Nickelback anymore. Turn Blow the up. fuck up. Turn over. Turn over. Turn over. No. This is what you'll fucking get. You motherfucking shit. Do you want me to take a picture of you guys? Oh, sorry. Do you want me to take a picture of you guys? I know it's, we're filming. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm 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 sorry. I'
Yeah. 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 He asked us. Be you angels? And we said nay. We are but men. Rock. John Mahon had a great run up to this point. Perfect Shikari mix. And then you have to go and ruin it with. What have you got? That. I'm having a lot of fun. Ra ra Rasputin, lover of the Russian queen. Those Russians. Dance like a millionaire, swaying to the symphony of destruction. Get, get, give me the money, Jesus! Of all, I was greeted with a grimace. When he was a young warthog. When I was a young warthog. I would do anything for love. It's around here. No. It's involved at all. Me, no. so I'll be the first to admit that Jamie, in particular, sounds when he's snoring like a lawnmower going over gravel. But I'm quite grateful that we haven't got people like whoever's in this campsite. Because Jesus Christ, I can hear it when I'm in the toilets, which is a good 50 feet away. That is insane. I, like, go to the doctors. You've got a sleep apnea. Sort it out. What is wrong with you? It's Friday morning and as you can tell by my attire, it is raining. Our resident pessimistic planner, Kieran, is going to be thrilled because he was telling us for weeks that it's going to be waterlogged. I hope you're happy, Kieran. Enjoy the money. Maybe you can use it for some lessons in Grace and decorum. This morning's breakfast was provided by the Yorkshire Sausage Roll Company. Very, very nice. You can get to pick whether you want a skinny or a chunky sausage roll. Food is very, very nice. The mash is amazing. The actual sausage rolls are really nice too. It does lose at some points though because the cutting utensils, which I suppose isn't really their fault, but if you want to cut your sausage roll up, you've got to like cut through the tray almost. And for that reason, it loses a point. Eight out of 10. Proper British food. The problem with eating all that heavy food so early in the day is now I need to go for a shit. Let's go and check in on the state of the toilets because I've heard they're not very nice. This is spotless considering it's day three. It's very, very nice. Now let man shit in peace. That's the queue for the showers in VIP camping. It's quite long and some people have been there quite a while because there's only, I believe, eight showers and a lot more than eight people trying to use it at once. This is the music that plays in Shane's head constantly. <laughs> He's being racist. So everyone has pretty much left uh, to go see High Regard. Uh, I thought I'd take the opportunity to use the showers. So this is my shower review. Um, Really good. A distinct lack of place to put your like offhand clothes. Uh, there were a few hooks and stuff, but I think they are six pounds normally. Um, but yeah, the hot water is lovely. The pressure is good. Um, I, I feel I just feel so much more human now that I've had a shower. I don't think I've had a shower at a festival ever. Like, I mean, I've, I've I've had like tap showers and things like that. So this is my first experience using a festival shower and. There is one more downside to VIP and that's that where we're camped is literally the opposite end of the site to the forest stage which is hands down the best stage at this festival. Such a unique vibe, such a unique space and it's an incredible atmosphere when bands are on. 
So we're walking up there now to see a band called High Regard. And you should remember that name because you might hear it again later in this video. Give us a bit. What are we going to win? <laughs> what are we after? I want a shirt. Get an earplug. Mystery t-shirt! Oh, you know what, later on when my snoring wakes everyone up, you're going to regret that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't give a fuck! I don't give a fuck! Christmas. The Mandalorian. We're on top of the world. We're on top of the galaxy. One of the best things about this festival is that it gives a platform for loads of smaller bands. High regard then in the forest. Absolutely incredible. Smashed it. And that, that forest stage is my favourite stage. Favourite festival, favourite stage. Being yeah. in there and seeing that forest stage go from what was essentially just an archway to now a proper huge full production <laughs> stage is so representative of the fact that trees over the years has just got better. It hasn't got bigger, it's got better. Because they know why this festival is so special to so many people. And to hear people like High Regard just say what everyone else has said is that they're friends of the festival. Can you really say any other festival's got a community like this? There is something special about that stage that no other stage that we've been to yet. Because we've got a lot of big things coming. Mm. The best stage that we've been to so far. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 You didn't tell me you get an ice cream. Our time to recreate the photo, the glorious photo. Look at my hands after one day of practice. Oh my God. You could see the inside of my hands. Like Jesus. And I Jesus can Jesus. walk on water. I can't even walk on land, so. Just had a lovely chat with a man named Simon Bond. And some of you might know that name. Um, he's also got a YouTube channel. He does very similar things to us. Runs the Dear Download podcast. Great guy, great team around him. Um, great videos, go and watch his stuff. But we were talking about a project that we've been putting together with uh, a collaboration between a few different YouTube channels. So there's us, uh, the Ragamuffins, SMTV, now Simon Bond as well, um, Kit Gutter Bratz, um, Serena Catherine, and a few others. I apologize if I've missed anybody off there. We've collaborated with those channels to put together playlists from Slam Dunk this year, Download this year, and now 2000 Trees as well. Uh, it's basically just going to be all of our vlogs in one nice playlist so you can go through and watch it all um, because obviously there's things that we might miss but Simon might get and I know the ragamuffins are here they might get something else or they might miss something so SMTV gets something and so that way you get like a full comprehensive view of the festival uh, and we've called it from different angles so if you go it'll be in our channel um, but you can access it through them as well and go and show them some love so yeah go and if you if you're liking this video go and show them some love as well go and support those go and subscribe to them and hopefully if you've come from those channels and you found us welcome um please subscribe down below this is all about collaboration and being able to give you guys the best possible insight into into all these festivals that we go to hopefully we're going to add some more at some point because a lot of us do bloodstock we're not doing bloodstock this year unfortunately um maybe a few others as well but for now, Slam Dunk Download 2000 Trees, every year we'll be covering those comprehensively between the channels. Please go and support everybody. Thank you very much. Third time now this weekend we've experienced sound issues at a stage. Twice at the cave, once at Axiom. And now currently guilt trip. Are uh, experiencing some technical difficulties. Yeah, 
guess that is bigger and a bit there. And that woman wasn't really tall, she's on top of the Do you think Andy will mind if I take one biscuit? Just one biscuit? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you did only take one. It's not your fault if they're all sewn together. Filling me up more than I expected. The title of my sex tape. We're on the way to see Elton John's favourite band. I hope he's here. Elton! Should we, should we get Elton John? You've just spilled my drink all over me there, Jamie. Blame Elton. Blame Elton John. Fuck yeah. Elton John. No, don't fuck Elton John, actually. He's a lovely oh. fella. <laughs> And instead of helping me, Sam says, get the fucking camera out. Oh my goodness, right. <laughs> right, that's oh, it, no. I'm here for the rest of the festival. Yeah, you just stay there. Or you walk around with a piss tent on your head. Yep, I'm gonna have to walk around with What's a piss tent. What's she gonna look like with a piss tent on her? Try and pull it through. Nope, that's, oh, I'm free, I'm free. I'm free. free. <laughs> get back in. Ah! Oh. Ah. 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 The sound check guys have been my favorite part of the festival. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Would do VIP again just for sound check guys. Yeah, please. Oh, will you bless me? Bless you. Bless you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord has turned to me. <laughs> Props to the security team, man. Uh, I don't know where wear earplugs at gigs, but we're giving them out for free at the front of the main stage. Always wear protection. Boris is here! Icebox Square Pass! Don't go nuts, be something you wish! Icebox Square Pass! Drop in the deck of water and fish! Icebox Square Pass! 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 So we can say things like free, free Palestine. sunglasses which I've had for so long. Bob Billing killed my sunglasses. I am back at No Freaking Chicken. Yeah, these guys are on download uh, and they're at trees pretty much every year and they're one of my favourites. I'm gonna go get the loaded fries some cheese and meat. Meat. Um, absolutely bagging. the decision was made that we were going to stop being a band the very next decision we made was that this was going to be the last ever show there's a reason for that and it's you Roasted son. It wants smoke out. 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 It wants smoke
Smart Guy. What are you talking to me? I'm on Smart Guy. I'm on Smart Guy. So wait me a lot. I'm on Smart Guy. I'm on Smart Guy. So wait me a lot. On Shane's recommendation, we went to the mac and cheese place. Um, because before Shane gave us, it's like mac and cheese topped with like chicken bites with maple syrup in them and it was incredible, it was amazing. So I just wanted a portion of them with some chips. It wasn't as nice as the ones that Shane got, so maybe I should have got the mac and cheese and just take them off the top, I don't know. There was no cutlery there, there was no salt there. So overall, I'm going to say unfortunately, the one that Shane gave us at camp was easily a 9 out of 10. What I got from the van was a 6 out of 10. What is Spider-Man in Russian? Chelovyek Pauk. Chelovyek Pauk. Chelovyek Pauk. So it's man. So it's man spider. Man spider. He's a he's a spider bitten by a radioactive man. I, I want a spin kick. You can't really spin kick to Avril unless you're a cunt. Oh my god. Well, you are. So. No, honestly, I just, I, just, I got lost for nothing. My tent. Don't, 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 don't,
all I can hear is a chorus of snoring, but at the same time, just like, look at it. I should probably go to bed. But I'm just, I fucking love trees, man. It's just such a good festival. Don't come because there's already too many people here, but it's just the best festival. I love it. There are definitely worse ways to wake up than to music. On the main stage. I'm tired. But it's been a bloody good time so far. It's raining. Again. Thank Kieran. In the words of Scooter. Yeah, it's like a rock. Yeah. It's not an actual rock. I know we say this in every video, right? When we say it's not going to end well, <laughs> this is what I mean. I oh, know I thought it was a wet wave. <laughs> <laughs> if you're as hungover as I am, or as tired as I am, then camping in VIP right next to the main stage might not be for you. I need to get away from that main stage. So we're going for Q&A with Frank Turner in the forest. Literally the furthest point away we can get from that main stage. We are on our way to the forest stage for the Mark and Me Presents a Frank Turner Q&A. Uh, and we're hoping that there's going to be a little cheeky live set as well. Frank Turner is a huge, huge, huge presence at this festival and has been for a very long time. He even has a camp in general named after him. Um, so we're getting down there nice and early to get a good spot because we have a feeling it's going to be around. Smoking buns, very nice burgers, very nice buns. Eight out of ten. I'm sorry this isn't the best review. I'm very, very hungover still. I was trying to get rid of all my alcohol before tonight because we can't drink that much because we've got to be up early. But I drank like way, way, way too much. Like, I went to bed about half eight. That is not okay. First time we've been called beautiful so far today. And it won't be the last. Oh, that's very kind of you. Is it going to be you again later on? <laughs> All day. All day, I love it. Okay. Feel free to sing along to the chorus. All right, let's go. There's no better hangover cure than no, while I'm alone. <laughs> I was just had a very nice chat with High Regard. Hopefully that video will be up in the next few days if you want to go and see that. Lovely to chat with you guys if you're watching this. Um, lovely people. Please go and support them on all the socials and go and listen to them and stuff. And uh, yeah, hopefully that interview will be out in the next few days. We're doing interviews now, by the way. We're officially like that's a thing that's happening now um, if there's any bands that you'd like us to speak to let us know in the comments down below and we'll see what we can do
There we go. <laughs> oh my god, is that Vessel from Sleep Token? I want shit to get fucking rowdy, it's a punk show, but we're gonna treat each other with respect, and if the person next to you falls down, you're gonna stop and pick them up and make sure that they're okay before you carry on with your day. Okay? Do we have a fucking deal? 2000 Trace! <laughs> The bubbles from VIP. <laughs> right, cheers. cheers. I I fucking love you guys. Beyonce's sister. I'm not gonna lie. Does anyone actually like the taste of this? No. The whole thing. Jamie, do it. Jamie, do it. Jamie, do it. No. <laughs> At the start of this year, we became the Alt Balls, and this is the first festival where all five of us have been together in the same place. So, because we've been fortunate enough to earn a little bit of money because of you guys, we've got ourselves a drink to say. Thank you to you guys. This is our little treat for ourselves. From now on, any money that this channel makes is gonna go in towards making everything better. We've got interviews, podcasts, more vlogs, going to festivals all over the place. So thank you very much for watching. And here's to you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Slum check. This is Happy Bangers. Uh, Happy Bangers has not made it into any of the awards, but it's my favorite hot dog. And what a hot dog it is. <laughs> I'm running. It's the last part of the weekend. It's Donald Broccoli. <laughs> And it's about basically, it's about looking out for your fellow humans, whether they're being mistreated, oppressed, just fucking miss, just completely fucked over, which is exactly what is happening right now in Palestine, as I'm sure all of you know. We need to demand this teacher and Gaza straight away. We cannot forget about that. For the record, I'm against this idea. I also don't like it that much, but. I have not crowd surfed enough at this festival and this is the final night
This has reminded us how fucking important it is. This connection we have, being at the fucking festival with your mates, I think is the best fucking feeling in the entire world. From 2002, hold on to this memory. Fucking hope your mates have a great rest of your fucking night. This is just one song, man. No time for no Don Broco are absolutely incredible. Every time I see them, I realize how much I love them. And every time, they just keep getting better and better. And T-shirt song at the end, as always, just makes me really emotional. For I, I can't put into words how that song makes me feel. Find something that you love doing. Find people that you love doing it with. And just go and do those things. We've, we've been incredibly blessed and incredibly humbled this weekend by people coming up to us, saying they love the videos one photos with us like i can't describe how that makes us feel we're, we're incredibly blessed to be in this position there's some things in the works some things that have happened this weekend that bode well for the future let's just leave it at that for now thank you so so much for everything that you guys do for us i wouldn't be who i'd be without you This year at Trees, we're doing something entirely different. We're going to give an award for the best food vendor of the festival for this year. And so far, I think we've narrowed it down to one main vendor. But I do want to give a shout out to our third and second place runners up, I suppose, as you were. Uh, Barnaby Sykes, the pie place. Yeah, for the, for the record, they were my pick for the best. Yeah, but I was Gibby is incredibly basic and eats one thing and one thing only for the entire festival. But if it's good, if it ain't it's right, fucking great, it's it, it is. is but yeah. I was outvoted, and I, do you know what? I was outvoted. Yeah, yeah, fine. I think second place, easily the best thing that myself and Izzy have eaten this festival was that Happy Mackey. The, the, the sushi rolls are incredible, but there's kind of no arguments with it. No friggin' chicken have been the most consistently banging every single time. Go get the loaded fries, £10.50. It's basically a meal. It, it just does everything perfectly. So, as the resident vegan of the group, it is my honour to present the award for the best 2000 Treats food vendor as no friggin' chicken. Thank you so much for and Congratulations. Loaded, easily the most consistent vendor ever. So, please can I have some cheese and meat loaded fries? Don't have any cheese sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. We have gravy and cat sauce. That's so good. Do you know what? It's the last Right, we'll day. take that award back then. I'm like a forklift truck. No. Oh. This is fun. Who's got it going on? She's all I want. And I'm with her so loud. Stacey, can't you see? You're just not the girl for me. Because you wouldn't accept my marriage proposal. I offered you a visa. I can't hear you. 
We couldn't not do the silent disco on the last night. This has been an incredible weekend. I'm going to take that off because I'm distracted by the music. This has been an incredible weekend. Full of amazing people. Both people that were camped with and you guys that have bumped into us. Again, thank you so, so much. It's been an incredible time. It's been incredible meeting you all, speaking to you all. We're so fucking blessed, man. This man fucking loves a pegging. Look at that. Can you tell from the look in our eyes? I'm going to bed because my headphones have died and there's no point me going all the way over there to exchange them to get a fresh pair so they only come back for like five minutes because we've got to be up early. So we're going to take the headphones back to the silent disco king booth over there somewhere, get your money back. Uh, the 20 quid goes into your account in like 10 days or something like that. But if you don't take them back, you don't get your 20 quid back. So make sure you look after them if you come into the sign of this go thing. Uh, uh, tomorrow's going to be a struggle. Hi everyone, it's a few days after the festival right now. Uh, we couldn't really film much on that Sunday morning because we had to be up and out quite early. And then after like a 10 hour journey home for me, jumping straight in the shower, all that post-festival stuff, and then getting to work on the video that you've just watched and hopefully enjoyed. Um, it's been a very hectic few days. I mean, I've still got half of my clothes there to unpack and stuff. It's a bit of a shit show, so apologies. But when we started these videos, it was very much about just like filming ourselves, having fun, and and it still is very much about that. But now we also try and provide a bit of information, a bit of education about certain things and stuff like that. And hearing people say, we, you know, we came to 2000 Trees this year based on your recommendation and your information and your help from from previous videos. That that means the world to us. The, you know, you can talk about th views and subscribers and all the data and stuff. But one person coming up to us at a festival and, and saying that is is worth more than all of that. So to have so many people come up to us this weekend and even ask for photos like it's yeah. I do want to say a massive thank you to everyone that we were camped with um, for filming a lot of the stuff that we couldn't get round to ourselves. So obviously you've got me, Al, Jamie, Sam, Izzy, but then Shane and Georgie for um, doing everything with the kids and making sure there was a bit in there about, you know, what, what it's like to bring children to a festival. Also a massive thank you to other Shane, Jade, Bexy, Andy, Kieran, Stacey. Just thank you for just like jumping in, getting involved and and helping us bring you guys watching the the best video that, that we can. It legitimizes the fact that we're on the right path, the fact that you guys love what we do. And when you're on the right path, you don't stop, you keep going forward. So, th you know, thank you to Trees themselves for uh, not only putting on a great festival, but also for, I mean, we got press accreditation for this event um and combined with you know bloodstock last year like again that just shows that legitimizes the the fact that kind of like we're in we're heading in the right direction so we are motivated and inspired to keep doing those kinds of things we've got loads of stuff coming we are very excited about the future uh if you want to go and see any of the other creators videos then the playlist will be available in the description down below Please go and support all those channels. It, it's uh, it's becoming a really nice space to be a part of. And if you've come from one of those channels, then thank you for watching us as well. Oh, a little tease about next festival. It's a festival we've never been to before. It's in the north of England and it's in August. So if you think you know what festival we're going to next, let us know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next one.
Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see something really similar to that, you can click up here and watch that. And if you want to see something that's absolutely not that, completely different to that, click up here and watch that. And you should just subscribe to us here. Thank you.